Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back. Or howdy if you're new. So today guys, we're going to do a very quick video upon extremely popular request. This is for the new AMD Adrenaline Software 23.40.01.10. I know that's a mouthful, but simply put, this has the new feature called AMD Fluid Motion Frames. It is technically supposed to double your frame rate, although there are a few caveats to it, which we will dive into deeper this week when I have a lot more time to test it. However, I have not tested this yet. This does not work on every game, and there are several caveats to it. One is I would not recommend using this on any type of first person shooter game where there is an AI anti-cheat engine applied because it simply looks for unsupported drivers and unofficial drivers as well, as well as a lot of other things that are debatable, but you can argue in the comments below about that. I'll have fun with you. So anyways, if you would like to download this, simply go to the link above. I will drop it in the comments. You'll scroll down. You'll click that right there in blue. Once that's done downloading, you'll open the app up. It will fail to install. That's completely normal and fine. That's what you want. You'll then hit close. Once that has failed, you will open up device manager and you will look for display adapters. Once you have found the display adapter, you'll find it here. Yours may be named something else. That's completely fine. I've already installed these drivers. So I'm just going to go through and show you how to install them. Now you're going to go to update driver you'll hit browse then you'll hit let me pick from a list you will select the top one that says andy radeon graphics and then click have disk you'll hit ok here and then you'll choose the 780m graphics right there it'll be probably listed towards the top on yours but it'll, it'll definitely say radeon 780m graphics You'll hit next, you'll go through all that process. Once that's done, you will go to your file browser and then you're gonna go to the following folder path. The folder path is as above here. You'll scroll down and you'll look for cc2 underscore install.exe. You'll click that, you'll let that install. Once that's installed, you'll reboot your system once your system is rebooted, you'll come down here to the Adrenaline software, right click and hit open AMD. Go under here to the gaming tab and then under graphics, I always do custom, but you can see I have the fluid motion frames enabled. So once you get to this menu right here, you'll make sure that you have the AMD fluid motion frames enabled. Now there's a few caveats to this, like you need to make sure that you have FSR disabled, you have VSync disabled, you are in full screen mode, and that you are running a DirectX 11 or 12 game, and that you also have any in-game FPS counter disabled, including the overlay that Asus ROG gives us. You cannot use this because it will go and give you kind of like false frame reporting. The FPS numbers will not match up right. It may or may not work with it, but just for safekeeping, keep this disabled. I'm gonna give you a better option though. Since you have to have this disabled, you're gonna click on performance and then you're gonna click on overlay and you're gonna enable the metrics overlay. And you can see here, I've got mine where it has the frame time, the CPU utilization, FPS, GPU power, all that good stuff. You can customize the size. You could do a lot of info with this thing. You can use uh, this option here to show you how much GPU memory you're using. It's really, really handy. I prefer the AMD overlay anyways, but like I said, there's a few caveats for games like Alan Wake or Forza, it'd be perfect for that. But if you're gonna play this on a first person shooter, I would proceed with extreme caution and just know there is a high probability of a ban. Not everyone will get banned, but a lot of people will, a lot of people have on these experimental drivers. So use with caution. If you have any questions, drop it below. No, I will not be testing it on Modern Warfare. I am not that brave. I have been bit many times by the uh, AMD drivers on Modern Warfare. So if you are brave enough, definitely let me know how it works out for you. And I'd love to hear back. I hope all of y'all have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.